lead-off summer, of course, and each team can have a go at their national record. But uh, we've really only had the one European record here. We've had great racing. The times have been a little off because most of the athletes are back in preparation for Rio. So tough summing from Europe to get some of those class times and good races. Four by two. So key points, don't go out too hard in the first 50. Have something left in the tank on the last 50. Work hard in the middle to keep those splits the same and keep your pace nice and steady as you go into the block for a good changeover decision by the outgoing swimmer. Early days, lots of swimming to come. Israel with a fast start on the first bit. Yeah, Kremer off to a great start there in lane number eight. We've got some big guys in the centre of the pool that we can expect to come back. Renick a little bit disappointed with his individual event earlier in the week, so he'll want to get in there and put that right. But lane number eight, Kremer off to a fantastic start next to him. The Italian team is looking very strong here, but behind them, it is very close here for third place. And how we can expect them to really start to make the move down this third 50. The Polish over there having a very good turn to Potowski. And lane number one is looking good down this third length here. Spitkowski moving up in, but it's a little break by the Dutchman, Dion Driesens. Sorry by Filippo Magnini, who would you expect in seven? Darigo coming through, take the Italians into the lead. They are so good at four by two. Robbie Rennick working hard in the middle of the pool in six. That's the Belgian, Louis Cronin, putting pressure on. Good swim from Switkowski in one. Look at him, closest to us. But the Italians front-loading their team, Darigo and Manini. So Poland, Korzeniowski going in, come out the fly. He's just getting to the end of a great career as the Italians start to create a little gap on the race. Manini here, off to a very quick start. We know he's very good at relays. He always puts on a good show, and he's gone out very quick here. The Italians have got a very good team here. Dotto and Detti, their final two swimmers, but the Italians at the moment dominating this race behind him. It is very close. Piskowski from the Netherlands here in two, having a very good swim, really coming back through the race. But we can see here James Guy from Britain, first hundred there we know he's the world champion at the two to three star so he's really pulling these Simmons back five teams in a row Magnini you know he exaggerates the stroke you can see him right out the water here a slap of the right arm a lift of the left arm but well the old man's getting a little bit tired as James Guy moves us for Great Britain into three also going well for Poland Korzeniowski and next door to Broszkowski of the Netherlands. So great racing here at the halfway mark. James Guy doing what he did in Kazan, bringing home with a very strong finish. The man in super heavy training for Rio, being pressed there in lane six by Surgulus at the end. But watch the cheer when Guy touches in first place. What a swim there for Guy, 145.64, what a good split for him there, the fastest split in this race, what a phenomenal leg for him. Stephen Mill now going to try and keep up that pace. The Italians have got Luca Dotto onto their leg now, they've got a very strong finish here, the Italians, and it is the Italians... Tikonic, the Belgian swimmer, having a good start as well. Lane at number two, Stolp from the Netherlands as well. It's very close here, up this front of this race. This That's what makes the 4 by 2 Joe, isn't it? That you're getting a little change here and there as strengths and weaknesses come through in the different teams. Yeah, it's such an exciting race, especially the men's 4x2. Every single year, the Europeans World Championships, it changes every year. It's such an exciting race. Now expect as the 
leg goes on, Stephen Milne will get stronger. The 400, 1500 man, he can put in a good 200. These are specialist sprinters. In two, Groszkowski for the Netherlands. Looks as though he might just be in the lead. Over there, in six, the Belgian, De Contigny. Also on the turn, very good turn from the Belgians. Italy moving up into second place there with Luca Dotto. A very strong finish. Stephen Milne has to bring his back with a little bit of a chance. Remember, there's been a little bit of front loading in the other teams as they come to the handover from three to four. The French team in lane number three having a very good split here. At the end in lane three, really having a good leg to get the French back in contention, but it is the Belgium team. Timmers on their last leg. We've got some great swimmers. Timmers from Belgium, Detti from Italy. This is going to be very close swim. We've got Duncan Scott for Great Britain. Lane at number two, Netherlands for Schuren. Had a good 200 earlier in the week. Up against Stravius from France. This is going to be a good race right down to the finish. Indeed, right down to the wire. Watch lane six for Schuren, the surprise 200 gold medalist. Coming up on his Scott. Now, Scott has done this for European juniors. Scotland, Great Britain, watch for the finish from Scott. Very strong looking, Verschuren in two. And over there in six, it's Peter Timmers. He's held himself back for this. It's a big ask for Duncan Scott. Verschuren versus Timmers. That's for the gold at the moment. And it is at the moment the Netherlands in lane number two. Lane number six, Timmers coming back very strong down that third 50, on to the final 50. It is the Netherlands team. The shoe in there for the Dutch team looking very good down this final 50. Ramping down in one, it's Mashrak of Poland. He's really putting the pressure on. Duncan Scott's gone from the medals. They're shooting under pressure from the goal by Mashrak of Poland. It's very tight, and look at the desperation in those strokes as the Dutch get home in first place. Belgian in second, and Italy snicked the third. A beautiful bronze medal there for Italy with Gabriel Detti, of course. Who else would you expect to come through in that 200? What a result. Everybody having to work right down to the last stroke in that 4x2. 